Hey there, fellow humans, ever feel like your brain is running on empty? Like you're trying to power a whole city with a potato battery? Well, you're not alone. We all hit that wall sometimes, that point where the mental and emotional tank is running on fumes. And just like ignoring your fuel gauge in a car leads to some awkward roadside assistance calls, ignoring your mental and emotional needs can lead to, well, let's just say some less than ideal situations. So, today, we're diving into the seven signs that you, my friend, might be mentally and emotionally exhausted. Buckle up, Buttercup, it's about to get real. Let's get started. Okay, first up, let's talk about sadness. And not the, oh, I spilled my kombucha kind of sadness. We're talking deep-seated, soul-crushing sadness. The kind that makes you question the meaning of a pineapple on pizza. Now, sadness can manifest in different ways depending on your age. My esteemed colleague, Hank, once theorized that sadness is like a fine wine. It gets more complex with age. Younger folks might experience it as frustration or anger, while us more vintage humans might feel it as a pervasive sense of melancholy. But regardless of how it shows up, persistent sadness is like that check engine light on your dashboard. It's a sign that something's not quite right under the hood. Next up, we're talking about that old nemesis food, or more specifically, the lack thereof. See, when we're mentally and emotionally spent, our bodies often react in weird and wonderful ways, and sometimes that means our appetite decides to take an extended vacation. Now, I'm not talking about skipping a meal because you're engrossed in a particularly gripping episode of, well, anything. I'm talking about a persistent disinterest in food like your stomach just forgot how to stomach. This happens because our brains and our guts are in constant communication. When we're stressed or burnt out, that communication can get all jumbled up, leading to a loss of appetite. Remember that whole patience is a virtue thing? Yeah, well, when you're mentally and emotionally exhausted, patience is about as common as a unicorn riding a bicycle. Suddenly, the smallest inconveniences, a slow-moving line at the grocery store, someone taking your parking spot can feel like monumental injustices. It's like your fuse has been shortened to about half a centimeter. And while it's tempting to blame it on the world being full of slow walkers and parking spot thieves, the truth is it's often a sign that we're running on empty. Our internal resources are depleted and we just don't have the energy to deal with life's little annoyances. Chapter 4. Sign number 4. Sleep has become your frenemy. Ah, sleep, that elusive beast that we both crave and despise. When we're mentally and emotionally drained, our sleep patterns can go haywire. Some of us become champion sleepers, logging more hours than a hibernating bear. Others, however, find themselves staring at the ceiling at 3 a.m., counting sheep that have mysteriously morphed into existential anxieties. It's like our internal sleep-wake cycle has decided to throw a rave, and everyone's invited. But here's the thing. Both too much sleep and too little sleep can be signs of mental and emotional exhaustion. It's all about finding that sweet spot, that Goldilocks zone of slumber. Chapter 5. Sign number 5. Motivation has flown south for the winter. You know that feeling when you wake up and the most exciting thing on your to-do list is watching paint dry? Yeah, that's lack of motivation, my friend. And when it comes to mental and emotional exhaustion, it's about as common as a cat video on the internet. It's like our internal get up and go battery has been completely drained. Hobbies that used to bring us joy now feel about as appealing as a root canal. And don't even get me started on work or school. The mere thought of it is enough to send us crawling back into bed. Chapter six, sign number six. You're basically a walking talking ball of irritation. Remember that short fuse we talked about earlier? Well, when you're mentally and emotionally exhausted, that fuse gets even shorter, like we're talking microscopic here. The smallest things, a misplaced comma, a slightly off-key rendition of your favorite song, can send you spiraling into a vortex of irritation. It's like the world has become a giant button, and you're just one push away from a full-blown meltdown. And while it's easy to blame it on external factors, the truth is, it's often a sign that we're running on fumes. Chapter 7. Sign number 7, it's all about you, or at least it feels that way. Finally, let's talk about perspective. When we're mentally and emotionally healthy, we're able to see the world from multiple angles. We understand that other people have their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences. But when we're exhausted, our perspective can narrow. It's like we're looking at the world through a tiny peephole, and all we can see is our own reflection. Everything feels personal, 
even when it's not. We might find ourselves withdrawing from social situations, avoiding contact with loved ones and generally feeling disconnected from the world around us. So there you have it. If you found yourself nodding along to any of these signs, it might be time to take a step back and give yourself a break. Remember, it's okay to not be okay. We all go through periods of mental and emotional exhaustion, and it doesn't make you any less awesome. In fact, recognizing the signs is the first step towards taking care of yourself. So, go ahead, give yourself permission to rest, recharge, and come back stronger. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Stay awesome!